Hey y'all, today we're gonna be learning how to make sample based beats using GarageBand. So what that means is we're gonna take sounds that are external, that means they're not in GarageBand sound bank, we're gonna take them into our session, we're gonna edit little pieces of those sounds, put them into the MIDI keyboard and then trigger them back in a way where we can sort of align them and make our own beats with them. A lot of people don't know that GarageBand is able to sample, so hopefully this will uh, get your GarageBand chops up and allow us to make more authentic sounding beats using sounds that exist outside of GarageBand. There's a few steps that we have to go through in order to start the sampling process. One, drag in your audio that you want to sample. Two, create a software instrument track. Three, change the preferences of that track to sound effects and then create an applause laughter track. Next, go to Window in your browser, go down to Musical Typing, and that will show you a visualization of the keyboard. Now, if you're using a MIDI keyboard, you can just hit the keys on your keyboard, or if you're using a computer and you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can use the actual keypad keys. So you can hit A, S, D, F, G, H across your whole computer's keypad, and that'll trigger the samples that are loaded into the MIDI keyboard visualization. Once all this is set up in your session, the rest is just making your edits, pulling the audio and dragging it right onto your musical typing window. And uh, this is a little bit more advanced, so I'll go into my visualization so you can see exactly the moves that I'm making in GarageBand. Let's go. So here's our GarageBand session. I've already pulled in the tracks that we'll be sampling. Um, and today we're going to be recreating the beat for the song One Train by ASAP Rocky. Some of you have probably heard it before, but this is what it sounds like, just so you know. Feeling like a vigilante or a missionary. Tell my ASAP killers, get their pistols ready. Send them to the cemetery. And, um... What I've done is I've tracked down the original songs that ASAP Rocky's producer sampled to make that beat. The first one is this uh, song called Sinin by the Syrian artist Asala. And then for the drum track, they sampled uh, the Mad Lads, Get Out of My Life Woman. As you can hear, the drum track. Now, our first step, now that we have all of our stuff, I'm just going to mute the ass app. Uh, now that we have our tracks that we're going to sample, we're going to go up here. We're going to go to new track, and we're going to get our software instrument track going. Um, I'm just going to delete this one. <clears throat> and now we're going to go to sound effects, and then we're going to go to applause laughter as I mentioned earlier. Now we have our sampler track. And since we're gonna make uh, a beat that consists of two sample tracks, we're just gonna duplicate this track so that we can have two. And there we go. And for our next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up our musical typing window. So here's musical typing, it's under Windows. The quick key is Command-Shift-K just in case you want to do the quick key. So now we have our musical typing window. This is basically uh, the, the sampler that you're going to be dragging in the samples. So we'll leave that down here for a second. Now, what we'll do now is go back up to these sound files and we're going to splice the songs and take apart the pieces that we want to sample, right? So let's zoom in on the Asala track here. see we have our kick drum sound one kick drum two and snare and then up in Asala we have our string sound right here 
And we were going to take these sounds and we're going to drop them into our musical typing window. So let's see. These notes here correspond to your MIDI keyboard if you have a MIDI keyboard. But if not, they correspond to the keys on your keyboard. So let's just drop in the sounds. We're going to literally just pick them up and then drag them into our musical typing window. Oops, got to get a little bit closer here. So we grab that and we'll drop it down to the A key. And then we'll drop the second snare. Actually, you know what, I'm going to put that one in A. And then I'm going to do the second snare, I mean the second dr kick drum on the W. And then we'll do the snare drum on the S right there. So now let's just give this a test out. If you hit the A on your keyboard, you should be getting a kick sound and a drum sound. Here's, so there's our kick, there's our second kick, and there's our snare. All right, so now we can play with these all we want. Now that we've got our musical typing window all filled up with our samples, let's see if we can lay down our first track, which is the drum loop using our samples. We've created a beat using two, two tracks filled with samples that we found and trigger them using our musical typing key and, uh, and here are that sounds. Cut off. All right. So this was a recreation of the ASAP Rocky song, One Train, and uh, you know it's not perfect, but the exercise itself will hopefully help everybody uh, out there in need of a sampling tool to uh, go ahead and pick out song songs and sounds from outside of GarageBand, bring them in, and trigger them to make uh, original beats.